surprise <laughs> just as all of a sudden live stream uh didn't didn't plan this one ahead of time so uh i know there's nobody here at the moment but that's all right we'll wait just a minute and see uh who all shows up if anybody and if uh if nobody shows up, then I'll just make a video anyways. Hey there. <laughs> I just said if nobody shows up and somebody pops in. Hey there, how you doing? I got my afternoon coffee. And uh, I know I just uh, put up a video yesterday, but um, I was here trimming some lids. And, uh, well, I trimmed two of the large lids so far. And I was going to trim... I've got three more. I've got four lidded pots that I had to make, uh, large lidded pots I had to make lids for. And uh, I made an extra lid of one of the really large ones. So I've got uh, five total that I had to trim. I've already done two of those. And then um, uh, I've got three more to trim. And I thought I'd just have you guys uh, come here and, and uh, do it live. And so uh, you can see there in the background, those are the two lids that I made already those right there one two that's hard to do <laughs> in reverse <laughs> your hand goes the opposite way anyway so that's the two i made already and uh the other reason i wanted to uh uh have you guys live is because i think i fixed my wheel noise <laughs> i know some of you guys are gonna be uh are jumping for joy but uh <laughs> it was annoying to me too but not necessarily as as annoying to me as it was to some of you guys because uh you know i i just got used to it uh, but i think the noise that the uh phone would pick up was was so much louder than than what it was uh here in person so i know uh, uh gene arnold especially he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna be shouting for joy uh i have thrown some pots this morning i worked on it last night actually what i did as I assumed it was a belt uh, squeaking, and so I uh, I flipped the wheel over, took the guard off, took the belt off, kind of messed with it a little bit, looked at it, ran the wheel without the belt to see if it made any noise. It didn't, and uh, put the belt back on. I think I, I adjusted it a little bit too, and I think I fixed it. So anyway, we'll find out today. But anyway, so I've got one lid, a uh, large one already here on the wheel, and I'm going to be trimming this and then adding the knob to it. Uh, I don't have the knobs made yet, so I'm going to be using my second wheel to make the knob once I finish trimming this one. But I already put this one on the bat and already kind of centered it up so it's ready to go. And uh, uh, yes, these are huge lids, but like I said, I've got these, uh, the, the, two that I, the two I made in my first live stream uh, that were the two lidded jars. And then I've got the second live stream where I made a second lidded, large lidded jar and then like the 20 pounder. I've got the lid for the 20 pounder and one of the other ones already made uh, or already trimmed. But like I said, I just thought I was gonna be here trimming uh, lids anyways. And uh, I thought I'd uh, do a live stream and, and you guys could come along. And if you had any questions or comments that uh, I'd be happy to help you with. I definitely have, have caught up on all my answering comments on, uh, on the YouTube videos and uh, like I said, as for now, I'm still trying to get to every single comment and respond. But I know there will come a time that I won't be able to do that. So, So I hope y'all are doing well today. Missed it again. What'd you miss? You didn't miss anything. We're live. <laughs> Unless you can't stick around and you're just saying you missed it or you're going to miss it. But we're here. I 
I think I just heard thunder outside. So, if that's the case, I might not be live long as it is. Because <laughs> I'm not going to be sitting here playing on a, on a pottery wheel if a thunderstorm comes up. That's not a good idea. There was a chance of thunderstorms this afternoon here. I didn't think about that before I went live, but also I didn't hear anything. So, time difference. Yeah, sorry. I know. I guess, what are you, are you uh, is it seven hours ahead? Is that what you are, or is it five? Oh, I hear a visitor coming, one of my kids. Hey there, two of my kids. <laughs> How y'all doing? You want to say hi? Oh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what are y'all doing? There's a package at the door. Oh, package. Okay. I'll get it in a little bit, okay? Can, can we make some, uh, Not right now. Uh, right now, I'm going to be trimming this lid. Y'all go back inside. I'll come in and get you when I'm done, okay? No, we want to stand here. Well, right now, I'm doing a live stream on YouTube. So they're watching me trim these lids. I can't be helping you, okay? Just watch you do this. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, it'd be it'd be easier for me if y'all would go back inside for right now, and then I'll come get you when I'm done. No. Can I have some more of that so I can no. make somebody? No, not right now, buddy. <laughs> what? Don't know if they'll be coming back or not. <laughs> Most likely they will. Uh, especially the little one. Do I love trimming as much as throwing? Uh, probably not. Um, I probably, I, I do, I do enjoy it. I haven't done it as much, of course, um, because most of my pieces I don't trim. You know, these lids, kind of like this style, you have to trim, otherwise you can't make a lid that's that this that's this style. Um, I do enjoy it, uh, but uh, just haven't done it as much, and I. I do, I do like the look of trimmed bowls and things like that, but uh, just haven't done it as much. I've spent most of my time throwing more production for other potters, and so that makes it harder for learning to do that. Hold on, let me go check on something. See why he's crying.
Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That, uh, for any of you who just got here and don't know, uh, my kids just popped in here, and then there was one outside screaming. I had to go see what was up. Anyway, um, it reminds me of a, a sign we have in our house that says, uh, <laughs> uh, finally making the lids. <laughs> yeah, Cam. Uh, I am finally making the lids. Um, but, uh, the kids interrupting reminds me of a sign we have in our house. It says that your children are not a distraction, or children are not a distract, distraction from the more important work. They are the most important work. So if I'm ever on a live stream and something comes up, sorry guys, <laughs> you're getting the ditch and I'm going, in, going to check on my kids, which I would hope you guys would respect that and appreciate that. So anyway... Uh, this live stream probably won't be very long, uh, Cliff. Uh, like I said, I've only got this one and two more lids to trim. Uh, but I like to talk, too. So <laughs> you guys know that by now. I wouldn't be on YouTube and wouldn't do these if I didn't like to talk. Oh, you're very welcome, Lynn. Yeah, these lids needed to be done probably a week ago, but uh, just had a lot going on and didn't get to them yet, but I am now. So, as long as they can get dry soon and get, uh, I got to get them uh, bis fired with the pots. And I haven't bis fired those large pots yet because I wanted the lids to put on them to bis fire them with. They don't necessarily have to be on there, on theirs to uh, on the pots to bis fire them. But I just, I just like that better if I if I can do that. All right, that's a pretty good dome on that one. Before I uh, make the knob for it, I'm actually gonna take my my plastic rib here and kind of smooth all that out where I've trimmed it. All right, there we go. That's pretty good and smooth there and, uh, and nice and round. No, the, the bottles in the back are actually some, some reclaim. Uh, some of it's reclaim that I had, and some of it is, uh, is actually um, Oka Medium. Uh, I had some leftover clay underneath one of my tables, and I knew it was Oka Medium, and some of it was just reclaimed for wood firing. And so... Uh, yeah, it's a lot of a darker clay. You can see the color difference just from there to the to the blended clay back in the back. That's the new Seagrove and new Catawba uh, blend, and then this is the Oka Medium mainly. Um, but uh, it throws pretty well, and it was also very stiff. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, Lynn, you'll definitely have to go back and watch that. That was a fun video. So, uh, when I get done with these lids, I might actually do some live stream of, of doing a little bit of slip on these guys. So, we'll see. That, once again, already already making it longer. Anyway, so I'm gonna move the um, I'll move the camera now so we can go make the uh, um, go make the top for it, make the knob, and then we'll come back and put that on. Let's see. I don't know where I'm gonna put you guys. I've got this. Uh, I gotta make this taller. I made my. Uh, I made my tripod a little shorter earlier for something I was working on and didn't make it taller again yet. So if that will work right there, actually I can raise this up as well. There we go. I'm gonna make the, uh, the knob over here on this wheel. probably got uh, uh, I don't know that's either a half to three quarters of a pound of clay for the uh, for the knob here
But this, this is gonna be a really quick part to this process here, because all I'm gonna do is throw a cylinder without a bottom. I'm gonna leave a good amount of thickness right around the bottom of this, so when I, I'm actually not gonna flip this over, I'm just gonna pick it up off the bat and put it on that, uh, put it on the lid we just trimmed. Or we, the lid I just trimmed. Uh, I don't, <laughs> nobody else was in here doing it. <laughs> anyway, so that's pretty much all I'm gonna do right there as far as throwing this. And then we're gonna move right back over and put the knob on, or put the lid on, or the, the knob on the lid. All right, turn you guys back around. Moving around a whole lot here. All right, so I'm going to look at the comments that I just saw. I didn't see what they say. Oh. <laughs> Slip drips, yes, Cam. I, I will <laughs> I'll give you uh, props for that. I, uh, not that you were the first one ever to do that, but uh, as we've talked about, you and I've talked about it, it's all been done before. But uh, yeah, I did, I did steal one of Cam's ideas when I did those uh, drips all the way, running down the side of those couple pots. I'd seen him do it before, or seen a pot that he had done that on, and I stole that idea, so. There you go, props to Cam. <laughs> I'm just putting a little line around there as a reference so that I can get my uh, my knob right in the center. And then I'm just going to pick this up off of there and set it down as close to the center as I can get. And by leaving that kind of thickness at the bottom of this, it was kind of already flared out. That gives me a easy way to attach this and flare that out and kind of even it, uh, kind of make it look like it's already one, you know, one piece or made all in one piece. And I don't worry about this knob being thick. Uh, it's gonna be hollow anyway, so I'd rather have a little extra thickness here. Just allows me to shape it and get this pulled in very easily uh, to make the shape of the knob that I would like. Hey Cam, you still here? I don't know if you were here from the beginning, but uh, you notice how quiet that wheel is? <laughs> oh, man. Some people are going to be so happy, and some people are going to shoot me that I didn't just fix it to begin with instead of being so loud. Well, are we talking about Cam doing a live stream? Look how quiet this is. Isn't this amazing? Isn't that, that's like, it's like whisper competition right there. Maybe not quite whisper competition, but it's awful. It's, it's, you can actually hear what I'm saying now. You, you don't have to like, I could actually just add in the, I actually uh, flipped it over last night and I, uh, took the belt off after I took the guard off, took the belt off and ran it without the belt to make sure it was the belt making the noise. And then I actually noticed it wasn't adjusted properly. Uh, and so I kind of like loosened the, uh, the flywheel underneath the wheel head and lowered it down a little bit so the belt would actually run even. Uh, 
and uh, and I, I believe that's what did it. I might have uh, the belt, like I said, I don't know if I put the belt on the exact same way it came off, but I mean, it's on, you know, as far as inside out, it's on the right way, but it could have been flipped the other way. And uh, either way, it's quiet now and hallelujah. <laughs> Anyway, I'm not doing any slip decoration on these yet because I want to see which pot that they fit the best on uh, before I do any slip decoration. And so I'm just going to make them like this and then let them dry and uh, a little bit until I can uh, kind of pair them up and then go from there. So, all right, there's that one. And I'm actually going to leave these on the bats that I'm trimming them on easier uh, as well because that'll make it a little easier to transport them. So... There's that one, kind of a profile of that one with the knob. Here, we'll do this. Show you guys, we'll bring it over. Whoop. Just so you guys can see. All right, there's one of the jars. Now, if I set this up there with the on the bat, you get a pretty good idea of what that's gonna look like. It'll be sitting lower, of course, but that's a pretty good, nice size lid, I think, and shape, whether it goes on that one or not. That'll work. All right, we got two more to trim and put knobs on. I tell you what I might do, I might go ahead and throw the knobs and then uh, that way I don't have to get back up and down each time. So I'll go ahead and throw these knobs over here on this wheel, I'll throw two knobs and then get uh, get set back up over there on my sit down wheel. Uh, I hope she is, Cliff. <laughs> Apparently, she uh, she wasn't a few minutes ago when they came out here. All right, Cam, 20, that's not bad. I know you've had a busy schedule, but uh, 20 pots is better than nothing. I still gotta make, uh, today after I finish all this, I'm gonna start on coffee mugs and uh, some small vases and other things like that. Cause I know I can dry those quickly and still get them made, handled and misfired and glazed all by Saturday. It's pushing it, I know, but uh, we, I can do it. And if I have to, I can take some things up there, you know, uh, greenware still and fire them, but um, it's just a, you know, that's a whole different process. Usually to glaze greenware, the glaze has to be so much thicker that I just don't have glazes mixed that are that thick um, to do that. So like I said, what I'm doing now is just making a couple more knobs uh, for the large lids, and then I'm gonna go back over the sit-down wheel, trim those two lids, and add these two knobs, and then uh, might do a little bit of slip decoration after that on those five bottles that I have over there. Like I said, that's all barring any in, uh, interruption by kids or a thunderstorm because there's a chance of thunderstorms here today this afternoon so anyway all right there's the uh, second beginning of a knob we'll take these over here and start trimming My bigger bats here. I need to clean these off. So 
<laughs> Seven hours ahead. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't remember. Like I said, I, I have been to England, and uh, I couldn't remember how many hours it was, but the thing I did remember is that I, I left home when I got on the airplane, uh, and when I landed, it was 12 hours after I left, but it had only been like five hours, and I, or, so, or seven hours. I couldn't remember which way it was. And I was like, man, that was weird. And then when I came home, I left and I landed two hours after I left, but it had been five, it'd been five hours. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is, uh, it's just weird, you know, uh, probably nothing compared to going all the way around the world, you know, but um, anyway, so what I'm going to do to get this on there, because the bat's already got a little bit of moisture on it from cleaning it off, I'm just going to try to center that a little bit and then... Uh, yeah, our clocks went forward as well, um, and I guess it was last Sunday. I'm sure it's at the same time everywhere, or at the same date. Of course, there's parts of U.S. that uh, that don't change. They stay, uh, they don't observe the daylight savings time change. Yeah, I hear thunder. So I will say that if that gets uh, much louder or closer, I'll be ending the live stream and uh, be doing this uh, later because I'm not uh, I'm not throwing pots in a thunderstorm. It's pretty darn close I'm just getting picky I need to I need to quit and, and leave it the way it is uh, this is the first lit, large lid that I made and I and I didn't really like it because I made it a little bit more shallow uh, than the than the others and so that's one of the reasons I made an extra lid it's always good to have extra lids anyways but uh, I made an extra one because this one I may not be able to trim as much because I, I, sh I should have used a little bit more clay and it made it more, uh, the base of this on the inside was wider when I threw it, you know, like I said, up the other way around and uh, it was more shallow, which means that it, I might get it a little bit too thin here if I trim too much, so... Scared of a little thunder? <laughs> no, Kim. Uh, well, yes, I am. Uh, I'll tell you one of the reasons why. Uh, I was actually working at a pottery shop years ago, and I heard a thunderstorm coming, and I was working production, so I was like, I'm just going to keep going. I was almost finished, and uh, I was on my last pot, and uh, right as I finished the last pot, I was stopping the wheel and I was taking my foot off of the pedal and the thunder clapped really loud right outside and uh, I felt the pedal pop underneath my foot as the electricity surged through the building and, and came into the wheel and I, I think it, it probably fried the board on the wheel uh, that I was working on which wasn't my wheel but uh, Made me realize then that, yeah, th that's not something to play around with. If you're using a piece of electrical equipment in a thunderstorm, probably not the brightest idea. Unless you don't value your life very much. Then, uh, you know, go out and fly a kite <laughs> in a thunderstorm. <laughs> it's about the same equivalent. Probably safer to fly a kite if there's no metal on it.
Do you have surge protection here? Yeah, actually I do. And that's a good idea. I should, I should, I should plug my wheel into a surge protector, shouldn't I? Um, thanks for saying that, actually. I'm gonna go grab one right now. <laughs> Cliff's out here saving my life. I have a brand new one, too. <laughs> All right, see you, Cam. Look at that, a brand new surge protector. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thanks, Cliff. <laughs> Oh. All right, let's do this. Let's unplug the wheel, plug it into here, plug that in, and voila. We're good. We're back in business. Now, surge protection. Yeah, I'm not quite I'm not sure how thin this one's getting. Actually, I think it's pretty good still. And I think it's about the shape that I wanted, so we might be fine. Like I said, if we do, we'll have an extra lid, and then we can uh, see which one we like better. I think all, all three of the really large ones had very similar sizes and width of the top when I measured them, so... Uh, might have been two of them were the exact same size and then one of them was like a quarter inch bigger so um, Not enough that it really mattered a whole lot when coming to making lids At least not of this size <laughs> Let's see, that's probably good there. Yeah, I actually think the center of it is a little weak. Yeah, it is, so I, uh, I'm actually going to set this one aside uh, and probably put a knob on it later because that center is so weak that if I go to put that knob on it now, It'll probably collapse down in the center. It already started to there just when I was trying to clean that off. So I'm going to set this one aside and uh, come back to it after it stiffens up a bit. All right, let me grab the other one, clean some of this trimmings out. Yeah, some of my, these two large plastic bats that I have, if, the, the circle that holds it on the bat pin have, have busted on one side. So it's kind of annoying. I don't know if I have any larger. 
actually this will work because it will sit down on the uh the, the the rim doesn't touch the the uh bat anyways so i'm just gonna put a little water on the rim of this it's gonna be a little harder to get on and off of the wheel with it being smaller than the uh than the rim but or the outside rim there it might be next to impossible to get oh there we go i got it on at least getting it off might be a whole nother issue <laughs> yeah there are lids and then there are lids that's like crocodile dundee right that's not a knife this is a knife sorry it looked a little crooked but I'm trying to fix it i dated myself there crocodile dundee anybody young here is like what in the world are you talking about <laughs> the the Hollywood equivalent to the uh, a precursor to the crocodile hunter. Probably where he got his idea. <laughs> yeah, Cliff, I got you. I don't know about that, Cliff. That's, uh, well, you could be. I don't know how old you are, but I'll be 40 this year, so. I don't have any grandparents left alive, so that's the only reason I say that, I, that I'm not sure about that. Yeah, you technically are old enough, yes. Typically, no, but technically, yes. <laughs> yeah. Te te or technically, I'm old enough to be a grandpa right now. But typically not. Sorry, I smelled my coffee over here. I gotta take a drink. This one I think I threw a little bit too tall. I'm gonna have a hard time probably not making this one too thin, trying to trim it down to where it's not so tall. I'll probably just leave it a little taller and See what it looks like. I try to catch my trimmings like that as, as I'm trimming because that allows me to uh, 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 keep trimming without having to have that all the trimmings fly everywhere and also get in, get in the way of the trimming tool as I comb down. I'd, I'd rather have two hands, you know, to steady the trimming, but once you get it centered, it's, it's pretty easy to, to keep trimming with one hand. Of course, I've got my right arm braced on my leg uh, to try to help make it steady. Also, just kind of depends on how dry the clay is that you're trimming. Um, these are really perfect for trimming. The, 
It's a little wet right at the top, but uh, it's never going to be perfect uh, all the way through because you've got, you know, the way they were drying, they were drying upside down from the, this way, so the, uh, the rim, the outside edge here is going to dry more. And I didn't really want to flip them over to dry too much because I don't want this to get too dry in here. Then they're really hard to trim. So, there, that's, that's a lot taller lid than I would probably normally make. But I, I'm afraid if I trim it much more, we're going to... We might do just a little bit more here. There we go. That looks pretty good. All right, like the like the other one, I'm gonna take my uh, rubber rib here and kind of smooth that over. Get all the try to clean up all the trimming marks. A little hard to do right down in there but uh all right there we go like i said that's a lot taller lid than i would probably normally make but uh that's all right all right there's my line around it to try to keep it centered and now i'm going to take this and Cut it free. Pick that up and try to center that right in that line there. Now, uh, I'll ask you guys a question. I, I kind of get a sense from the uh, from the views that I've had on live streams versus videos that I get more feedback and more uh, more views actually on the uh, videos than the live streams. Now, uh, ask you guys which you like better. Um, that'd be great feedback for me. I think. If you were to ask me, I think probably people, if they do like the videos better, they're they're shorter, more concise. You know, you kind of it doesn't take as much time to uh, to digest and 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 watch one of those as it does to uh, either watch a live stream. As soon as you see that it's you know an hour long or two hours long or five hours long, it's kind of like, oh man, I don't think I got that much time. I don't mind doing a little bit of both, but uh, sometimes I might have to make the choice. No, the uh, the difference in dryness uh, is is actually not too drastic. It's actually more drastic on the uh, the two piece pots that I was making than here because as I've trimmed this down here, this was the bottom of the lid, of course, before I flipped it over, and. Uh, and the, the dryness is not that big a deal. The only thing that I, I do have to I do have to do is after these dry enough that I can take them off of this bat is I'll flip them over and I'll put a hole up through the, the top, the, the inside of the lid into that knob because it is hollow. But the dryness there is, is no, no problem whatsoever. Or the difference in dryness, I should say.
Yeah, definitely. Watching throwing live, you definitely get more of a real experience than uh, seeing it on a video. Um, <laughs> watching me almost lose a 50-pound pot, that, that's probably not going to happen on a video. <laughs> Now I gotta figure out how to get this off of here. I probably need to take that splash pan off there. I can find out where the bat pan is by feeling around the bottom. So, there we go. So there's another lid. Like I said, it is on a bat, it's just underneath there. All right, take you guys with me over here and we'll look at it. We'll look at another one of these that this could go on. There we go. Well, that one might be a little tall for that shape bottom, but uh, we'll see once it dries. But uh, for now, it'll, it can sit there and dry, but yeah, I'm not sure. I like. I still don't like the shape of that jar. That's the one I almost lost. <laughs> but uh, set it on that one over there. It looks a little small on that one, actually. So I guess we'll see. I don't have to have it set uh, one way or the other. We'll come back to it later. You know. Uh, here we'll get the uh, the small one. Here's the lid for the 20 pounder that I that I threw. I'll set it on this one and we'll look at it. Yeah, I think that's gonna be a really nice one there. That 20 pound lid, 20 pound lidded jar there is gonna be very nice by the time that lid dries and I get some decoration on it. Uh, bookwork invoices. Uh, yeah, she definitely helps with that. Uh, it's definitely a, 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 a team thing, but uh, when it comes to taxes, uh, some of it I have to, I kind of do. Of course, she's she's got her schedule full of other things also, so I can't just depend on her for all that. Uh, uh, not depend on her, but I can't put that on her. Let me put it that way. Um, I could depend on her to do it if I needed to. But uh, I don't want to put all that on her because she's got a full plate as it is. Jamaica. Hey there. Uh, do we have a value added tax here? No, we don't. Uh, at least not yet. Um, All right, having connection issues again. So uh, <laughs> that might be a sign that I need to end it. But I tell you what, I'll do, um, I'll do one thing quick. I'll show you guys how I was doing that, uh, those lines of slip on those pieces uh, uh, that were on my Instagram the other day. I'm going to take my white slip. I need to add a little bit more water to it because my white slip, in order to make it work, uh, the way I run it down the sides, I need to, the, the slip to be more wet than it normally is. So uh, let me get some water and we'll do that. All right, now I've added uh, water to my white slip to make it more liquidy, and I'll, I'll try it out here, and we'll see if it's watery enough.
Yeah, I think it is. All right, let's see. I mean, let's take that really round one back here and we'll do it on that. Try to make it easier for you guys to see. There we go. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, the uh, the making them in two pieces. I tell you, there, there's, there's uh, that. Like I said, that's not my idea, but uh, that definitely is. Um, it definitely is one way to make it easier on yourself to make large pieces. So I'm going to. I've got this sitting on my water bucket on the wheel. But I'm still going to try to center this a little bit because I want to put a. Uh, I'm going to put a line around it and then use that line as a reference point to uh, to do my drips. All right, that's close enough, maybe. Anyway, all right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make a, a horizontal line around here, then I'm gonna break that line up into sections so I get kind of like, I can space my, uh, my drips evenly. All right, so there's my horizontal line. I have to be careful with this because this, this is a whole lot more wet than my normal slip is, and I don't want that to kind of like run on me. Yeah, definitely. Trying if if you're making larger pots, trying to make the same thing in one piece that you're making two is never going to be the same size. At least in my experience, so. Well, I'm glad you tried the moon jar. It's uh, it's definitely I, I'm I'm excited. Actually, somebody mentioned to me about um, making a really large one. So I'm thinking of what I might do is actually make. I think traditionally they make two really large bowls and they would put those two together. I'm actually thinking. Of about trying that as, as a way of, of making a large one in, like I said, the more traditional sense of how they would make them. All right, so I'm just going to put some dots. I'm using the four corners of the bat as a way to break this up into fourths to begin with. And then uh, I'm going to come in between that, I think, with uh, one or two. I think I'm going to go two. All right, so right now I just have it broken up into sections. Give myself an idea of where I want these to be. They're not all quite even, but they're close enough. So here, I'm gonna move you guys over here because I don't think that, I don't wanna try to do this on, uh, I don't wanna try to do this on the back side. I think it'll be harder. Um, Actually, I think I might put you on the other side. All right, flip around again. Sorry for that. You're getting spun all over the place. All right, there we go. Because I think I'll work on this side over here. So now you can see. So I'm just going to take where each one of these dots are, and I'm actually just going to start squirting the, the slip and then as it starts to run, I'm just gonna keep squeezing and it will run down because the slip's more wet. Um, one thing I have to be careful of is I probably should should wait for this to get a little bit more dry because if I put too much slip on it, with this being as bulbous as it is, it could actually just uh, crack and fall apart. I had one do that the other day, so <laughs> let's just hope that that doesn't happen to this one. I could, uh, I could use a torch on it afterwards to help dry it to make sure it doesn't do that, but um, Either way, here we go. Hmm. 
Whoops, I'm hitting the rim with the slip bottle. Have to come back later and fix that now. And I don't necessarily try to get all these the same length down. I kind of think that it'd look cool if they were all different lengths. So there we go. I think that looks pretty cool myself. Definitely excited about the, the possibility of what's gonna happen with all that. I might, uh, well, I think we'll end the stream there. I'm going to uh, decorate some more of these other ones here, but uh, just put out the video of uh, decoration the other day, and we're one minute from an hour. So I think that's uh, definitely a good time limit for a live stream. Anyway, I appreciate you guys being here as always. I appreciate the uh, feedback on the videos, and I appreciate um, just taking the time to watch them and give the feedback. You're welcome, Grammy. I'm glad uh, you're probably, that's probably not your first name. It's probably Grandma, <laughs> Grammy. <laughs> either way, it may be your first name. Uh, either way, thank you for being here. Uh, next video, uh, let's see. Uh, I've been doing them on Sundays and Wednesdays, so I'll try to come up with one between now and Wednesday and put one up Wednesday night, but uh, we'll see. Um, but uh, if not, and then this coming weekend, uh, Saturday, we start loading the wood kiln, so... Sometime over the weekend, the beginning of next week, I'll be doing a video on uh, loading the wood kiln, and uh, then we'll maybe uh, do something in the middle of the next week, and then the next weekend, we'll actually be firing the kiln, and the, the end of that following week, we'll unload the kiln. So uh, you've got those videos to look forward to coming up, and um, uh, not sure what I'll do for Wednesday's video, but uh, I'll definitely try my best to get one out uh, Wednesday evening. So if not Thursday morning, it's been in that time frame each time that I put one up. So anyway, thank you guys and uh, wish you the best and uh, go make some amazing pots, okay?